Hi friends, welcome back to week four of Let's Mingle Cal. In today's tutorial, we're gonna be making the Y pattern. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Now let's get started with our week's uh, pattern. I'm gonna start by crocheting 35 chains. You always have the option of working a chainless foundation row and I'll have the details on my blog. The link will be down in the description box. Now let's start row one. So here are my 35 foundation chains. I'm gonna skip the first chain from the hook and start working into the next chain. I like working into the bump, but you can work your stitches uh, as normal or as you always do. I'm gonna start by doing a row of uh, half double crochet stitches. So yarn over, insert the hook into the stitch, pull a loop, yarn over and pull through all three loops at once. Yarn over, insert the hook into the next stitch, pull a loop, yarn over and pull through three loops. And repeat the stitch till the end of the row. You should have 34 half double crochet stitches at the end of the row. So for row two and for all even number rows throughout this pattern, we're gonna do a row of single crochet stitches. So I'm gonna chain one, turn the work to the other side and start working a single crochet throughout the row. So insert the hook into the stitch, pull a loop and then yarn over and pull through the two loops at once. And we're gonna repeat this throughout the row. To start row number three, I'm gonna stretch the loop that I have on my hook to the height of a half double crochet stitch and then chain one. Turn the work to the other side and then we start working our row. We're gonna start by doing a half double crochet stitch into the first three stitches. So yarn over, insert the hook into the stitch, pull a loop, yarn over and pull through all three loops. We're going to repeat this two more times. Next, I'm going to be working around the posts of the half double crochet stitches in the first row. So we're going to skip the first three half double crochet stitches on row one and start working around the post of the fourth half double crochet stitch. I'm gonna do a treble crochet stitch so I'll yarn over twice around my hook and then insert my hook from the front to the back and out on the front side again uh, of the post of the half double crochet stitch of row one. Then pull a loop. Now I have four loops on my hook. Yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. And yarn over and pull through two. This is my first front post treble crochet stitch. I'm gonna repeat it two more times. Yarn over twice. Work around the half double crochet post, two rows below. Pull a loop yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. Now I'm gonna skip the three stitches corresponding to those treble crochet stitches. I'm gonna skip three stitches um, on my previous row 
and start working a half double crochet stitch into the next stitch. Repeat that two more times for a total of three half double crochet stitches. Now we're gonna do the treble crochet stitches again. So make sure that you skip three half double crochet stitches on row one uh, between the last treble crochet stitch that we did and the current one that we are starting. So this is my first treble uh, or front, front post treble crochet stitch. We're gonna do two more. And this is the repeat for this row. Three front post treble crochet stitches and three half double crochet stitches. At the end of the row, you're gonna have one extra stitch. We're gonna do a half double crochet into it. So uh, we're gonna end the row with, uh, sorry, four half double crochet stitches instead of three. So for the next row, which is an even number row, row four, uh, as I've mentioned, uh, all even number rows are done with single crochet stitches. So I'm gonna do it and come back to do row five. To start row five, we're gonna chain one and turn the work to the other side. And then into the first stitch, I'll do a half double crochet another half double crochet into the next stitch and then I'm gonna skip the next stitch and I'll work around the middle front post treble two rows below and I'll work a front post treble as well around that post So now we're gonna skip only one stitch uh, in row four and work a half double crochet into the next stitch. And repeat two more times. So a half double crochet into the next stitch and another half double crochet into the third stitch. Now I'm gonna skip the next stitch and work a front post treble crochet around the same post two rows below. This is the middle post of the three front post trebles we did in row three. So it's like a letter Y being formed. So make sure you skip only one stitch and into the next we do a half double crochet stitch i'm gonna repeat that one more time so skip the next stitch locate the middle uh, uh, front post treble crochet stitch on row three and work a front post treble around that post Make sure you skip one stitch only on row four and then into the following three stitches we're gonna do a half double crochet into each. Skip 
skip one stitch and work another front post treble around the front post treble of row three. Make sure you skip only one stitch and into the next you do a half double crochet stitch. Repeat the front post, three half doubles, front post, and then one half double till you finish uh, the three sets remaining uh, in this row, and we're gonna finish the row together. So here I've worked my Y pattern. I'm skipping only one stitch and then into the last three stitches I'll work a half double crochet into each. Now I'm gonna do a row of single crochet stitches and then I'll come back to work row number seven with you. Okay, so we have finished row number six and I'm ready to start row number seven. I'm gonna stretch, sorry, I'm gonna stretch the loop on my hook for the height of a half double crochet stitch, chain one and turn the work to the other side. Into the first stitch, I'm gonna do a half double crochet. For the next stitch, I'm gonna work around the post of the half double crochet uh, on row five. I'll do a front post treble. And then I'm gonna work a front post treble around the front post treble of row five. I'll skip two stitches on row six and start working uh, into the following stitch. I'll do a half double crochet and I'll do two more half double crochet stitches for a total of three half doubles. For the next stitch, I'm gonna do a front post treble around the front post treble of row five. And then another front post treble around the half double crochet of row five. That's the half double between the two Y's of row five. And then another front post treble around the front post treble of row five. So a set of three front post trebles. I'll skip three stitches on row six and work a half double crochet into the next stitch and repeat that two more times for a total of three half double crochet stitches. So the repeat for this row is three front post trebles starting with a front post around the front post treble of row five and then another front post treble around a half double crochet of row five and then at the third front post treble is around uh, the front post treble of row five 
skip three stitches and do three half double crochet I'm gonna repeat that till we reach the end of the row I'm gonna finish the row with you so I've done the last set of three half double crochet stitches and I did one front post treble around the last front post treble of row five now I'm gonna do one more front post treble around the half double crochet stitch of row five and then I'll skip two stitches in row six and then I should have two stitches remaining on row six where I'm gonna do a half double crochet into each and this is the end of row seven now I'm gonna be working a row of single crochet stitches and I'll come back to work with you row number nine Now I've just finished row number eight and I'm ready to start row nine. I'm gonna stretch the loop on my hook to the height of a half double crochet stitch and chain one, turn the work to the other side and start by working a half double crochet stitch into the first three stitches. So this is the first, the second half double and the third half double crochet. Now for the next stitch, I'm gonna be working around the first front post treble uh, of row seven. So I'm gonna work a front post treble around this post. Now skip one stitch in row eight and work a half double crochet into the next. Next, I'm gonna locate the middle front post treble in row seven, the next set of trebles. I'm gonna locate the middle one and I'm gonna work a front post treble around that post. I'll skip one stitch in row eight and work a half double crochet into the next. And repeat that two more times for a total of three half double crochet stitches. For the next stitch, I'm gonna do a half sorry a front post treble around the same post where i did my last front post treble so i'm repeating the y letter again i'll skip one stitch in row eight and work a half double crochet into the next and repeat from the beginning again a front post treble around the middle front post of the set in row seven skip one stitch in row eight work a half double into the next three stitches work another front post treble around the same post Skip one stitch in row eight and do a half double into the next stitch. And the letter Y is being formed again. So we're gonna repeat 
this sequence and I'm, I'm gonna meet you near the end so I'm five stitches away from the end of my row I did the last half double crochet stitch and now I'm ready to work my last front post treble this post I'm gonna work it around the last front post treble of row seven I'll skip one stitch in row eight and then into the last four stitches I'll do a half double into each So this is the end of row 9. For row 10 we're gonna do again another row of single crochet stitches. Starting row 11, row 11 is a repeat of row 3, so our pattern is a repeat of rows 3 to 9. The only difference in row 11 is that we are already working on an established row, not a row of half double crochet stitches. So I'm going to show you the beginning of row 11. However, it is just the same sequence of row 3, but working on established rows instead. So I'll show you the beginning and then you can just take it from there. I'll finish row 10 and I'll come back to show you how to start the repeat. So now I'm ready to start row 11. I already chained one and turned my work. I'm gonna start by working a half double crochet stitch into the first three stitches. For the next stitch, I'll work a front post treble around the front post treble of row nine. And then work a front post treble around the half double crochet stitch and then another front post treble around the front post treble of row 9 forming a set of three front post trebles together this is the same as what we did in row three and this is just the repeat for uh, row 11 we're gonna uh, repeat row three to nine or actually to row ten if you want to finish it with a single crochet row until you reach a square to match uh, the length of your beginning chain and this is the final look of my square I decided to finish my pattern with a repeat of row 3 and 4 to match the beginning of my square but again this is optional you can finish it um, at the end of uh, like a repeat of row 10 if you would like now after finishing the square make sure that you work a border of single crochet around your square and adding two single crochet stitches into each corner and by this we reach the end of our tutorial today i hope you're enjoying the let's mingle cow if you like it please share it with your friends like the videos and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you next time keep crocheting and take care